but I'm like Barbie the Welder. I'm a full-time metal sculptor. Uh, for me to become a welder, I went to an adult education BOCES class. It's like a voca vocational technical school. And it was a six month program that I went to at night. And when I was done with that, I got hired at a local custom fab shop. When I started out, I had very little experience, and I know that you know the more education that you have and the more skills you bring to the table, the better your pay would be, and also uh, it's job dependent. For me, I started out uh, 10 years ago, I started out at $13 an hour working uh, in a sheet metal fabrication shop. I know that if you work, uh, if you get educated uh, in pipe welding and you work for the pipeline, I know your pay is quite different. Uh, the amount of knowledge that you can gain as a welder is a huge surprise to me. I really think that I just assumed you would weld, and there's just there's so much. Like even after 10 years, there's so much knowledge. After 10 years of me welding, there's still so much that I don't know. And I mean, like I've I've learned a ton. Each time you weld, the metal moves. Like I didn't, I didn't know that. There's just there's so much kind of science that goes into it uh, that you you have to learn as uh, as a welder. Uh, I think that if you really enjoy working with your hands, get like a sense of satisfaction from working with your hands welding is a phenomenal career. There is always something to learn. Again, uh, for me, that's a, it's a huge plus. I get bored very easy. It's just something that, you know, welding has held my attention. Like no other profession that I've tried, I've, I've done a few different jobs throughout my uh, my career, but uh, welding is by far um, just it just holds my attention because there's just, there's something new every day, even after 10 years of uh, of welding and fabricating. I just I'm the job I'm working on now. I'm learning so much from this, and some of it's from failure, and some of it's from success. <laughs> I, I come out in the shop and I turn on the music. That's a very important part of my day. I come out and it depends on what project I'm working on. Um, I just finished uh, welding an 18 inch tall Grim Reaper sculpture that was made completely out of um, repurposed materials. And for that one, it was just, it was welding and then grinding and welding and grinding and welding and grinding, like all throughout the day. And that, that just, just, that one, like filling in holes and then grinding it and shaping it to a certain shape that I want it. The project that I'm working on today, this is what I'm saying about the variety. There's just, there's so much you can do. Today's project I'm working on, this is, I'm on, I think, day two on this one. I'm making um, a sitting bench for when you try on shoes for uh, the Carolina Shoe Company. And I'm spelling out Carolina in metal, and then they're going to sit on top of the word Carolina. And I've never done anything like it before. And it's just, it's problem solving. So today has been like, how can I make this look like the picture that I drew? <laughs> you know, how can I make it look like that? And, figuring out angles and making sure that the angles are correct. Um, there's a lot of problem solving. Uh, I think that people with an excellent work ethic and are not afraid to get dirty <laughs> make excellent welders. Is uh, like eagerness to, you know, fit to problem solve and, and to learn new things. Depending on which job you take, there are there's so many jobs available to begin with. Um, the area, like just, just in the company that I worked for, there was 200 people, and I think 180 people were in that company were welders. And the area that I was in was sheet metal fabrication, and that thin material from 24 gauge, which is just, it's very thin. Uh, we welded up to quarter, no, we welded up to eighth inch um, plate steel. And then there was an area that they just welded pipes. So around, you know, welding around the pipes, which is a whole other animal from welding flat or, you know, uphill or downhill. 
Um, and then we had a uh, heavy fab department, which is just really thick, heavy, big, large, bulky pieces that, that they made. So this is one company, and this is three different areas in that company, the three different types of welders with three different types of skill sets. There, there, there's just an absolute, uh, and this is, this is one company. There's, just, there's so many different career paths, but I struggled because I only had six months of education coming through. It was 104 hours uh, in welding time, basically. Like, it boiled down to 104 hours. And I really struggled. I spent a lot of the first year, like, I was very, very lucky with, um, there was a, a lady and a guy that both were teaching me. And the woman was just a phenomenal TIG welder. It's a type of welding. And she took the time and showed me, but I spent a lot of time grinding out welds that weren't good enough. She was very strict. I was very lucky to have her and be strict because this is how I, I personally learn. But it, for, the, for that, it, just, it, was, um, it was definitely challenging and humbling. <laughs> Welding is a phenomenal career path, and this is my opinion. It has it has changed my life. Um, when I started out welding, I was financially dependent on the government, and today I own my home, and now I own two businesses, and this is all thanks to work ethic and welding. It's like every morning's like Christmas morning to me.